Hi everyone, welcome back to Stationery Island's channel. Today I'll be planning my bullet journal setup for the new year and January 2019. I can't believe that 2018 will be over soon. For those of you who have been following my bullet journal journey, thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed sharing my spreads with you. In 2019, I hope to continue to share more spreads that you will enjoy and draw inspiration from. And of course, to celebrate the end of the year, we had to do a giveaway with this video and I will talk a little bit more about it later on, so please keep watching. But first, here's a flip through of my December setup. I really enjoyed setting up for December because I love Christmas so much. I really like doing the advent calendar as well and I'm glad you guys liked it too. If you still haven't seen our Christmas spreads video, I'll link it above and in the description box below so you can check that out if you still need to Christmasize your bullet journal. As you can see, the spreads are not fully filled in yet, but I'm planning to do a 2018 flip through video, so let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. Alright, so I'm not starting with a brand new notebook since I have a lot of pages left in this bullet journal and I'm really happy with this notebook. So I'm just going to start off with a divider page for 2019. I want to keep this pretty plain and simple because as you know, I like having different themes for each month. So I didn't really want a theme for the year, so I wrote 2019 with my food and nose kipan. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And then on the other side, I'm just lettering a quote with my fine liner. If you want more lettering inspiration, I'll leave a link to my lettering ideas playlist so you can check that out later. And this quote just says, a year from now, you'll wish you had started today, which is just a nice quote to motivate me to do the things I want to right in the moment. I think it'll be something nice to live by in 2019 so I can start putting off the things I've been planning to do. Up next is my future log. Last year I wrote out the entire calendar but this year I'm just going to skip that and go ahead with just boxes for me to write all the important dates in just because I don't really want to write all those numbers again <laughs> and if I'm not going to need them. I'm not gonna do them. So for this, I'm just keeping it clean, simple, and more effective. The next page is another simple page for all my goals for the new year. So I just wrote 2019 goals and I plan to scribble all my goals for 2019 right on this page. So far I have three main goals and that's to get my license, to move out and to travel to Iceland. I'm really excited to write more goals next year so I can really focus on what I want to achieve in order to make the most of my year. On the other side I'm just doing a small little page for collections. I did a collections page ideas before. Again, if you want to see that, I'll link everything in the description box below. In that video, I did a page for each collection, but I just want to keep it simple this year because I want to save my pages for my monthly spreads. So I'm only doing three collection sections and I'm putting everything here. So on this page, I'm starting with a small section for all the series and films that I like in 2019. So I'm just drawing a little box of popcorn and then I'm just drawing little clouds that look like popcorn and inside each I will write the name of the film or series that I want to note down. I only drew 10 pieces of popcorn but I watch a lot of things so this will just be for my top 10 favourite films and series of the year. And under that, I'm going to have a section for all the books that I'm going to read next year. So I'm just drawing two shelves where I'm going to draw little books and on the spine, I'll write the title of the books. For this, I can definitely put more than 10 books. So the main purpose of this is to push myself to read more in 2019. It would be nice to see the shelves full by the end of the year. So I will definitely appreciate any book recommendations. If you have any, comment them down below. And lastly, I'm making a small section for all the podcasts that is worth noting down in 2019. At the moment, my favourite is the Creative Pep Talk podcast by Andy J Pizza. I highly recommend it to anyone, especially all our creative viewers out there. I'm definitely on the lookout for more podcasts, so if you have any suggestions, again, please leave them in the comments down below. 
Okay, so the next page will be split into two sections. So on the first half, I'm just doing my travel log. So I'm just drawing a little suitcase and splitting that in half. And then I'm just drawing lines in the suitcase where I'm going to write all the new places I've traveled to in 2019. I've drawn quite a few lines because this is not exclusive to my holiday destinations. I also plan on writing new cities and towns in England that I've never explored and never really thought to explore. So if I ever find myself lurking somewhere like Kent or Wolverhampton, I'm still going to write it here. Not that I have anything against Kent or Wolverhampton, I'm sure they're lovely places. On the second half, I'll have my gratitude log, which is quite plain and simple. It's just a section where I'm going to write everything that I'm thankful for. This will just be a nice page to look at for those days where I'm feeling a bit down and need a reminder of all the great things I have in my life. And finally, I'm ready to set up my spreads for January. So I'm just starting with a cover page as usual. For this month I decided to go with a starry theme because I want to add a touch of wishfulness for the beginning of the year, so the stars will be my lucky stars I guess for 2019. I also really like that they are so effortless to draw and they still end up looking good. And then I'm just going in with my light blue jewel brush marker using the fine line tip to colour in some stars with lines and then the brush tip for more defined stroke. And then I'm just adding little dots everywhere and colouring some stars in with yellow just so it doesn't look too blue. On the left side of the spread I like to add my little quote page and for this month I picked never too old, never too bad, never too late, never too sick to start from scratch. I really like the sentiment of this quote, it makes me feel very motivated to do something or learn something new without even thinking twice about it. So I think it's really nice for anyone who's looking to do more things in the new year. Then I'm just decorating the page by adding more stars around the quote. And as usual, after the cover page, I like to do my monthly log and I'm still keeping this calendar format because it works the best for me. In terms of spacing, I did five by five spaces for each box in my Stationery Island notebook. On the other side, I'm just drawing boxes for my monthly goals and wins. I think it's just useful to have your goals right in front of you to motivate you but it's also important to see your little victories so you can give yourself a pat on the back and remind yourself that you are achieving something. Then I'm just decorating the left side with some stars and then the rest of the page with little blue yellow dots and then at the bottom I'm just drawing this little string with hanging stars. On the next page I have my mood tracker and because my theme is stars I wanted to put my title in the middle of a big star and put all the stars I need to colour in for each day around the big star. So I'm just drawing 31 stars around the title and at the bottom I'm just adding my little legend for mood references. I decided to only use the blue and yellow I already used to keep it consistent so I'm just assigning patterns to each mood instead of different colours. Next, I'm doing my habit tracker and this time I decided to do a vertical chart instead of the separate tables that I usually do. I just want to try something new for January to see if I will like the setup, but I also want it to be more efficient. As much as I like the look of having separate tables for each one, I also want it to be more practical and I wanted to do a quick setup where I can track a lot of different habits but spend almost no time setting up. But of course, I still wanted to make this page look pretty, so I'm just drawing a bunch of stars all over the page. And the final page that I'll be doing is my weekly setup. Because January starts on a Tuesday, I'm dividing the spread in six columns for Tuesday to Sunday. I decided to do a vertical layout because I find it more spacious so I can put more notes and tasks on each day. And again, I'm decorating the rest of the page with stars. At the top I'm drawing different stars and at the bottom I'm just drawing similar sized stars for a subtle look. And those are all the pages I've set up for 2019 in January. Before I carry on with the flip through I'm just going to quickly talk about the giveaway we are doing with this video. The winner will get their very own Stationery Island bullet journal. It comes in teal and black so the winner gets to choose between the two. All you have to do is be subscribed to our channel and comment your most favourite stationery item this year in the comments section down below. We'll also announce the winner in our community board so please look out for that. And finally, here's a flip through of all the pages I've set up for 2019 and January. 
If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for weekly videos. And that's all for now. I wish you all a very happy new year and I'll see you next week.